Uh, we are welcoming Osvaldo Rojas here, um, who is from Innovation, and we'll be talking a little bit about Moodle and the integration with Office 365. Over to you, Osvaldo. Hello, everybody. So uh, we'll talk a little bit about Moodle and Office 365 integration. As Innovation is based in Dublin, is a Moodle Premium Partner. ISO 27001 certified, uh, more than 300 customers worldwide. So let me talk a little bit about the plugins. There are about 10 plugins available to integrate Office 365 with Moodle. There's, I'm not explaining about all of them, so I'll just put a little description about which one. You don't need all of them, you just need the ones that you for the features that you want to synchronize. And during this presentation, we'll talk a little bit about uh, OpenID, that single sign-on to model using Office 365. That's one of the plugins needed for the into this demonstration. Demonstration. So we have local Office 365. That's response. That's the plugin responsible for synchronization of users from Azure Active Directory to model, user fields mapping, sync users to uh, sync courses to Microsoft Teams and other features. Uh, theme Boost, OS365, that improves the display of how the Moodle course uh, shows uh, within the, the Teams tab. Then Block Microsoft is a menu item to, to access various vario features. Var it's like shortcuts for the features, resources, and preferences. Repository, filter, OneNote for submissions, and auto Teams meetings that create Teams meetings, like a simplified version of the meetings um, anywhere where auto editor is available. For this demonstration, we show how to sync a course to Teams, how to add a course as a tab. Uh, we will ask a few questions via the bot assistant that about one of the features of this Moodle app that's possible to create using the local Office 365 plugin. And then you, you upload this Moodle app created to your Microsoft Teams to be one of the, the apps available. There's plenty of uh, apps available to, to use in Microsoft Teams and Moodle that you create one for your Moodle instance is just one of them, a custom one. And then you see the notifications from Moodle assignment within Teams. Uh, let's call it proactive notifications. And it's available for multiple activities, but we, are, we will only show uh, a sample of how it works with assignment, with the assignment activity. So the prerequisites here is to read the documentation about available in the docs.moodle.org that explains how you set up Moodle and Active Directory, you need to create an application and you need to create a secret, uh, you need to have a secret and an application ID so you, so the users can connect to your Moodle using the OpenID Connect. You need to have the Moodle administrator credentials. Uh, you need to have an Office 365 and Microsoft Azure subscription so you can create new resources in it. So you need to be able to create new applications for that. Um, you need Azure Active Directory Administrations for the portal.azure.com. Um, single sign-on with OpenID. That's one of the one of the prerequisites for this demonstration. So you need to have at least one teacher and one student user created in Moodle manually or sync it automatically for an Active Directory. But the most important it is for the demonstrations, you need the, all the students and all the teachers, they must be logging into your Moodle using the OpenID Connect. We are not covering how you configure that, but we, uh, that's pretty straightforward. You, you have a PowerShell script available in the lo local Office 365 plugin that you can download and create an ap application pretty quick. And then you copy and paste the secret and application ID to the open ID plugin settings, and that's it. Single sign on is working. And most complicated part is the Moodle app created and uploaded for your organization. So 
how to think a course to change you, you create a coursing model, enroll at least one teacher and student to the course, both should be using the open ID, go to team sync settings. And that's what we are going to do. So I'll screen, uh, I'll share my screen now. So I already have a course that I want to sync um, to Microsoft Teams. I already have as well a, a teacher here logged in. I'm sorry as as well though. I don't think you're sharing your screen just yet. Second. Yeah, there it comes. Oh sorry. So let's go again. So I already have a course that I have created here that I want to share this course. I have a, a teacher account here logged in via teams.microsoft.com. And I also have a student logged in. So let's first let me enroll the users that I have created previously here. So let me more users. Enroll the users. I don't have any users here, so let me enroll. Remote as a teacher. That's important. You need, you need to have at least one teacher enroll it to the course because that is going to be the owner of the team that will be created. So let me enroll now a student. Um, student enroll as a student. So next step is to navigate to, to the plugin. So let me go to this place. So site administration, plugins, local plugins, Microsoft Office 365 integration, uh, sync settings. You have the options to synchronize the users that we are not covering in this presentation. And you have the team sync, that's the feature. And I don't want to, to share, I don't want to sync all the courses, just one or two. And so I'm going to customize and then customize groups so I can select the course that I want. In this case, this is the, the course. Search for the course that I want to sync. Enable all the options and save it, and then I just run Chrome. So the course was not showing here, and after the, after the Chrome is finished, after the, the Chrome is complete, there is one task that will uh, create the group, the Microsoft team for that course, and that should start, see, that starts showing for, for the teacher and for the student. So the team was created with the same name of the course, the teacher was enrolled and the student was enrolled as well. Um, I have created the Moodle app previously. So the Moodle app is, is already uploaded here to my tenant. So I can start using this Moodle app. Let me just go back a little bit for the next step of my presentation, stop sharing. So use the bot assistant. That's the second part of the, the presentation. Log in as a teacher user, find the Moodle app, type help and click enter. So let me share my screen again so we can do the second part. This is the course, there's nothing there yet. And where do I find the bot? The bot is in the chat. See, send a card. At the moment that you add the Moodle app and you log in the first time here, you, you can start using the, the bot. So I can type the question here. If I don't know, 
the questions available for teachers. I, I can use the help. What can I do? And type help. And it should load the list of questions available for, for me. So how many assignments have been completed submissions? What assignments are yet to be graded? Which students have been sent? You see, we have all the, these questions available. So what assignments are yet to be graded? And it retrieves a list of the assignments that needs grading across all the courses that I'm enrolled. In this case, this is the test assignment that, that I have created for that course. This is the, is the assignment created. Let me just go back a little bit. The student also has the same options for the bot assistant. We can ask questions. There are different questions. Um, also, how, how did I do in my latest assignment? What are my latest grades I have received? What assignments are doing next? So that's related. See, is the list of due assignments. So as a, as a student, I can just open um, that, that link and then I log into the model using my Office 365 credentials. And then I can add a submission. submission. At the moment that I submitted, uh, the teacher student received a notification about this. Someone sent a submission. So that's the proactive notification. Or that that's not in the order that I wanted to show. Uh, that was the last slide, but this is how the proactive notifications happen. So a student posts uh, submission for the assignment and the teacher receives something directly within Microsoft Teams application. The other feature that I would like to cover is how do I add the, the course, this course content as a tab for for the channel that I just created here for the Microsoft team. So with, again, is another Moodle app feature. I just add a new tab. I search for the Moodle app that I have previously up updated to my tenor. And I add the option. So that will list all the courses that I'm enrolled and that I can add as a tab. So I, I, this teacher, the uh, user is enrolled to these four items. This is the one that I just uh, sync it. So if I save it, a new tab is created that will show all the, the content of the course here as an iframe, as a tab. And so the students also can see that if they go to the, to the team, see that students don't have the permission to add new tabs but when the teacher, the owner of the group had the tab, it's available for all the students. So pretty much this is um, what I would like to show. Let's go back to the, to the slides. Bot assistant questions for teachers. Uh, I just put in my presentation all the slides about that. I'll just go quickly over all the options. So you can try it later. We cover Moodle course as a tab. So you go to the team created by the Moodle via the sync. You add a tab, select the Moodle app, and then you select the course from your Moodle instance that you want to add. You, you only can see um, the courses that you are enrolled, the proactive notifications. So is the, the conditions before it works. And then the teacher, uh, and students, they are able to receive some notifications about the submissions and, and some other notifications available, forums. I'm not covering all the items here, but it's in the documentation available. So I just I would like to show quickly how it works and the possibilities also it can be improved 
we can include more notifications for other assignment and that's it. The documentation and book tracker is available here if you have any questions and you can always reach to innovation for any questions. We intend to provide more comprehensive documentation and videos about all the features uh, later in our blog, innovation blog. Fantastic. Thanks very much, Oswaldo. Um, you know, I think you would have gotten a lot of requests from people over the last few months. Uh, it must have been very, very busy for you and the team. Um, we've got a question from uh, Thomas here in the big blue button chat. Um, is it a possibility to have a Moodle activity for this integration, um, a bit similar to an LTI connection? Is that something you guys have thought about or are working on? Uh, that's about the Microsoft Teams meetings, probably using the Atom meetings. Um, it, it, it may be something similar. Um, that's about the, how to create a Microsoft Teams meetings. Is that more or less the activity? What, what's the... I'm not sure, Thomas, um, do you want to chime in? No, just no, open no. it. No, there's no plans for, for that yet. No, just to okay. open. No, there's, there's no link. The only link available between Moodle and Microsoft Teams at the moment uh, with the plugins available is to add a tab to one of the, the team created that's a group, a kind of a group. And then you add the tab. And then you add the course. In the course, you, show, you see the course embed as an iframe in that tab. That for the moment is the only thing available. Okay. Um, there's a few questions on the forum here. Um, first one is by Sylvia. Will this integration be available in the student teacher version, which I'm assuming she means just in Moodle core? I mean, at the moment, it's a set of plugins. Are all of the plugins downloadable from the plugin database? Yes, they are. They are actually, they are for free as well. You don't need to pay any subscription for Microsoft because all this is, is using the free tier of the Azure. So even for the bot, all that, of course, that depending on the, the amount of usage, then you need maybe to pay something. Yeah. You have a Microsoft subscription, but for the moment, all the features here are using the free uh, part of Microsoft services. Okay. Um, Another question here by Colin. Do the plugins all need to use an Exchange environment? I don't know about the Exchange environment, but you need to, to use the. Uh, they are pretty much connected to Azure Active Directory. Mm. That, yeah. That's what the, that's the, the part in the portal Azure that you need to connect to, to create the application in order for the single sign-on to work. That is not related to, to Microsoft Exchange, but it's more related to Microsoft Active Directory, Azure Active Directory. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, then uh, Enrique, uh, who is using the integration and has a course team relationship with teachers, manage separate groups. They need those to be available as private channels within Teams. So what they would like to do, synchronize Moodle groups for a Moodle course into, a, into team channels. Yeah, that, that's not available yet, but it's, I think it's possible. Uh, but requires some customization of the plugin, the local of C365 plugin. I think that's not available yet. No. I okay. recommend to add this uh, improvement request into the GitHub for the local of C365, and then we can check what's possible. Okay. Very good. Um, we have about a minute more online in this presentation. There's a few more questions on the um, forum for you to dive into as well, though. Um, yeah. More, but, perhaps, sorry, sorry, go ahead. Go. One perhaps quick question. Um, can you tell us, from, this is from Angus, can you tell us what happens 
when a person's course enrollment is suspended or their account is blocked. Does that also apply to Microsoft Teams then? When a person's course, course enrollment is suspended. Actually, there, there's a feature in related to what happens to these users when they are synced from an Azure Active Directory and they are suspended or deleted in the Azure Active Directory, they are suspended mm -hmm. in Moodle, yep. but there's no actually, uh, what usually happen when the course enrollment is suspended, they should be, they should lose the access to the course in the, the, the teams. They should be unenrolled for that, but uh, that's actually a question that it's important to to add to GitHub so we can be sure about uh, about that. So if you could please put this question into the GitHub so we can check properly the okay. this scenario because usually what should happen is the user should lost the access to the course in the Microsoft Teams so kind of unenrollment. There's no. Yeah. There's no option to suspend a user from the, from the group in the Azure side, because when you, I think there's only the option to enroll or, or remove from a group in the Microsoft side. There's no option to suspend, but I can be wrong. So we just need to, to have this question in the, the GitHub so we can investigate and, and provide a proper answer. Okay. Fantastic. Well, there's, there's quite a few questions um, in the discussion on the forums, so please um, have a look at that as well. Uh, obviously, people find this really interesting, especially at the moment. Um, and thank you so much, Oswaldo, for this presentation. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed it. Um, and then we'll wrap up for this session. And um, there is a little break after this. Uh, this room starts uh, again in just over an hour. Um, so, uh, hopefully, um, everybody gets to enjoy more sessions then. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Bye.